Captain, is our airship ready for launch to Oroman? Just give the word, sir. Her hull's watered against the worst the Tempest Layer can throw at us. We'll swing you in for a clean drop to the Shrine Forge. No time to lose. Let's go.
recognize this place. Daddy has showed it to me. There's gotta be some kind of theoretical making machine thing here. Probably inside. And this machine will show us a weakness to the binding stone? In theory. So we don't know what to do once we're inside. I figured we'd improvise. You mean you would improvise? That entrance is blocked by a triarch ward. You're the only one going in. Lucky I'm here, sir. I'll get the portals powered back up for a return trip. Figure out how to destroy the Binding Stone, and let's get out of here.
This room looks important. Talking about someone else, you're mistaking me for a guy named Sandrak, which frankly feels a little creepy. But anyway, I want to destroy the Binding Stone. You're not listening. I don't have a Binding Stone or a Mark. I can't surrender what I don't have. I already told you, I'm not... Wait. You can give me the same mark as Sandra. Control it, or destroy it. You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. You don't win in ever war. If he found a way to use the Pining Stone, so can we. It's mastery over the funks means I can end the war. Then I choose to end the war. Give me the mark to control the Binding Stone. <laughs> I guess. Alright, so that's what disobeying orders feels like. Not so good. Did you figure it out? Please say yes. Yeah, we're uh we're good to go. With this, I can destroy the Binding Stone. We just have to get close enough to Sandrak. How do you propose we do that when we don't even know where he is? This mark gives me a connection to the Binding Stone. I can feel where it is. I can, I can feel where Sandrak is. He's moving east, towards the deep near. There's a font in the ocean. Sounds like it. All right, pack it in, we're leaving soon. What's the place, sir? Devin and I will stay here at the Shrine Forge for a bit. See if we can find anything else of interest. And rig it to blow when the Rashanians return. You need to get back to the Palathon and brief Kirken. She'll figure out our next steps. But when you use that mark to destroy the Binding Stone, I want to be there. I want to... Yeah, we are really just, you know, gonna destroy that Binding Stone so hard. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Now head back to the Palathon. Sir, I'm back at the Palathon. Well done, soldier. Meet me in the vault. We can finally have that conversation that I've been trying to avoid.
Back here, Jack. Here. This dossier is for you. My report of Sandrak's time as an immortal. Some deep. I was hoping for more than a summary. You know, for us to talk about it. It will have to do. I don't like to talk about Sandrak. Because I don't like remembering him as a friend. We fought alongside each other for 30 years, Jack. I depended on him. Would have given my life for his. And all of that is gone. It does me no good to relive it. To let it in, I might also invite a mercy where I can have none. Come, show me the mark you recovered from the Shrine Forge. Uh, sure. It lets you feel the movements of the Binding Stone? Yeah. Sandrak's definitely sailing the Deep Mirror, but his movements are weird. Erratic. Unfortunately, we can't afford to send a large force out to sea. Most of the Light's army musters at the front, and we need them to remain there. You, Zandara, and Devon will have to face Sandrak alone. Well, not exactly alone. My contacts in the Clayless Traders Guild provided us with a colossal during the Trenchship Rebellion. I never gave it back. It'll take time to wake her up. She's not seen service in a very long time. Captain Selko's a fine steersman, if I recall correctly. And I can guide him to wherever Sandrak is, using my mark. That's the plan. Now, unless you have something else to ask me, that'll be all. All right. I've got everything I need, sir. Zendara and Devin should have already returned by now. You'll all set out for the Deep Mere in the morning. Oh, one more thing. The Oromic girl. Kenzie? She wanted to speak to you when you returned from the Shrine Forge. I think she's a bit smitten with you. Yeah, I don't know if it's limited to just me, sir. 